It's not you, it's me. You know I love you deeply, but I think it's best we go our separate ways. Wait, 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 no. There's only so many withdrawal headaches that I can handle. I'm sorry, but I'm letting you go. Hey, Fruit Flower Squad, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the little red button down there and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my amazing videos. Okay, so today we are talking about how to break up with coffee. I know it's tough. I know that coffee is your best friend. You know it is. If you're looking to break up with your coffee love, I'm your lady. I've done it so many times, I've kind of figured out a good strategy to help you smooth the transition and where you don't feel like you're gonna die for two days straight. Why would you wanna break up with your coffee love? One day I got really sick off of it. I had like two giant cups of coffee and I was like, this is not making me feel very good. Also, I got tired of being tired, you know, that coffee dependency. I'd always crash in the afternoon and it just feel so sluggish and crappy. I just wanted to have long lasting energy all day long. And raw foods give me that without any ca caffeine. It's amazing how wonderful I feel. I never thought that I could give up the love of coffee, which I always will hold deeply in my heart. However, I feel so much better now that I've let it go. If you're not looking to break up with your coffee love, I don't blame you. Coffee is wonderful, wonderful in your belly. Except on the real deal, it's not wonderful in your belly. There's over 47 different kinds of acids in coffee. It is a stimulant and it burns out your adrenal glands giving you chronic back pain. Caffeine is known to drain your body of important minerals such as potassium, calcium, and magnesium. What happens each time you drink a cup of coffee? Your brain sends a message to the pituitary gland, which releases a hormone that tells your adrenals to produce stress hormone, like adrenaline and cortisol. In all of a series, you are triggering the same response as if you were in imminent physical danger. That's that jolt that makes you feel awake and alive. That's not real. Contrary to popular belief, caffeine is a drug. Don't believe me? Stop drinking it, withdraw from it, and then have a cup. You will be feeling high and mighty fun. Eventually you build up a tolerance and then see you later, Mr. Two to Three Big Gulps of Coffee a Day. And not to mention digestive health, IBS, constipation, because it happens. Caffeine eventually backs you up and doesn't help you go to the bathroom regularly. When you first start drinking coffee, you sometimes have to run to the bathroom, but after a while, it stops doing that. Basically, it could be very detrimental to the health of your gut. Trust me, I know, it happened to me. I know some of you would never want to do this or would never even think about doing it. I know I was there for a long time, but give it a try. You will see the difference. You'll see the long-lasting energy you have, and you'll never look back or you will a couple of times and keep going through those withdrawals. Now, I know there's some research on coffee that indicates some health benefits. However, I question who's writing those articles. <coughs> coffee industry. <coughs> coffee industry. When withdrawal symptoms can make you feel like you're being repeatedly kicked in the face by a donkey up to 48 hours after you stop drinking it, this can't be healthy for you. Okay, so how do you embark on the coffee-less life? Step one, pick a day that is so important. Give yourself a week's notice, and within that week, slowly cut back each day. By the fifth day, transition to black tea. Earl Grey is one of my favorites. I love chai. Then by the sixth and seventh day, transition to green tea. If you follow this system, you should avoid all headaches. You might be a little groggy the next day to the next week as you're still detoxing and withdrawing, slightly irritable but give it at least two weeks before you really start to feel your best. And you do, you feel so wonderful and magical. Seriously, I was the last person in the world that would stop drinking coffee. My love for coffee runs real, real deep. And if I can do it, you can do it too. You have a natural, authentic high when you stop drinking coffee that you can only experience without 
the stimulant that caffeine provides. So if you have any questions or comments or need a little help, need a little support, let me know. Leave your questions and comments below and I will respond. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the little red button down there and subscribe. Do it right now if you haven't done it. Do it! Do it! I love you all so much. Hashtag fruit flower is good. And I'll see you next week.